stillness and abundance, love and light, health and wholeness, stillness and abundance, love and light, health and wholeness, stillness and abundance, love and light, health and wholeness, peace and power to the family, cosmic consciousness, soul control, family and soul tribe. I hope everybody feeling good for no reason at all. This beautiful autumn day. Take a moment, appreciate nature. Appreciate life. Ancestors in all their forms. What the seasons revealed us through cycles. Life, we live life in cycles. And seasons reveal how the cycles of life operate. For those who walk it with me, go take a moment and appreciate it. Love and light, love and light, love and light. Peace and power, wholeness and health to the family, wherever you are on this beautiful autumn day. May the sun be shining regardless in your life, regardless of what the weather may reveal. Um, feel good, I feel good today. I hope everybody's feeling good for no reason at all. Um, Prior to getting ready to record, I was meditating. <laughs> and um, it occurred to me that angels never win costume contests during Halloween. And if anybody ever seen the angel win a costume contest during Halloween, y'all drop a comment and let me know. And uh, for those who um, like, share, and have subscribed, I appreciate you as well. Um, angels never win costume contests. <laughs> I don't celebrate Halloween, I celebrate life, but I just wanted to share that thought. I personally never seen an angel win a Halloween costume contest. It's good to be here. I'm here because I'm digging deeper. If you show, if you showing up to sit with me for the time that we sit, I hope you digging deeper. Um, I'm here because I choose to dig deep. I share because I'm digging deep. Uh, I do everything possible to balance, to first find dark beauty in the light so I can bring it to balance in myself. So it feels good to be here. I feel good for no reason at all. Um, To get to something bigger, I don't know what bigger may be to you, but to get to something bigger to me, it's inner standing. Um, and what I've come to find personally is inner standing is the road less traveled. I say that to say, when the universe is, when the universe starts to blow in the horn for you, sometimes it's best to sit still and watch God move, watch the universe move, watch source, watch the divine move, whatever you call it, your angels, your ancestors, however you resonate with it. You gotta learn how to sit still and watch things things that has to work out for something to work for you allow that to happen otherwise we end up getting in the way and causing a re and causing a reoccurring cycle causing a 
call them the reoccurring recycle. And we really don't need no more cycles because ascension is about getting out the hamster wheel, coming into the true authenticity of oneself. So most times when we find, when I say what I mean by when the universe is blowing, blowing the horn for you, that means it's judgment time. Whether it's, whether it's judgment on you, concerning your actions or, or, or judgment concerning the actions of others concerning you. When the universe is blowing the horn for you, that means it's judgment time. We reap what we sow. And through that process, that's how we learn how to recognize what type of uh, seeds we planted by the fruit we bear. But when the universe is blowing the horn for whoever the universe is blowing the horn for, that means everything has been moved out the way until, until it ain't nothing in your way but you. What you gonna do with the opportunity? What I just said may differ for every person who hear it, and it will. But life works in cycles, and that's what the seasons are here to show us. This path, this path that we on, for those who own it. It ain't no cakewalk. <clears throat> Don't let nobody deceive you of thinking that this is a cakewalk, especially with external things. It ain't no cakewalk, it take work. It take hard work, it take consistent work. It take persistent work and it take genuine genuine work with oneself this path is only concerning you no matter how many people we interact with on this path this path that we on for those who are on it it's all about you <laughs> that's going to resonate with everybody different I know, I get it but it ain't no cakewalk. And to really get to the next level is exhausting. It get tiring. <laughs> and it takes discipline. I know. Um, and if you're on it, you know. I say that to say, and a, and a whole other bunch of stuff that come with it that we have to balance. But, um, Stuff that we go through is necessary when we come to the comprehension and understanding why we had to go through. It's needed when we come to the comprehension of understanding why it was needed. And it brings us to the crossroad where we have to decide whether we're going to live outside or inside spiritual journey <laughs> a dedicated soldier a dedicated traveler on that spiritual journey knows that it's the road less travel can't fake it to make it can't put on no <laughs> we can't put on no and I'm a whistleblower, so I'm speaking to, I'm speaking to anybody who be putting on those. <laughs> it's real. We go through things, you know, the highs and the lows, day in and day out. Energy is consistent. It don't, it don't, it don't stop when we get tired. So you can't get tired. You gotta stay on your shit. We gotta learn, we gotta become masters of emotions. If, you know, we have to become masters of emotion, masters of energy in motion. We have to become masters of how energy moves through, through our emotion. Emotions are what we experience, they are not who we are. And even knowing that don't mean that I don't slip here and there, but I stay consistent. Emotion
emotions are what we experience. They are not who we are. They are meant to show us something about ourselves. So I encourage each and every one of us to, to, to strive daily, daily to become more aware of what you are experiencing it, how you are experiencing whatever you are experiencing, anything, and how it makes you feel. Become more aware of your experience with yourself. This is so important because it's something in us. It's something in us that's way bigger than just being human. I'm gonna say it again. There is something in us that's way bigger than just being human. And anytime that we're able to sit still where we can hear our own self think, we can experience that something. We can experience that something that makes us way bigger than just being human. And it only take a minute to go into that space, that timeless space to experience that thing, that it, whatever you wanna, however you wanna identify with your higher self, but it is you. On the, on the, on the farther extreme of, of the self that you see. It only take a moment to experience timelessness, to experience your divinity. Sometimes we gotta break away to separate ourselves from the noise that keep us cloudy, that keep us frustrated, that have us irritated, that have us aggravated. Nature does that. Nature provides that medicine for me personally. To the point that wherever I'm at, I'm in nature. Because I don't absorb myself that much with it. You know, peace ain't something that we gonna find outside of us. Peace is something that we have to, we have to capture, embrace, and accept what it show us from the inside out, and let it, and, and allow it to help us mold and fashion ourselves into something beautiful that we never been before. carry healing over the hurt it's because you're doing the work and I'm happy to see those everybody doing the work whatever space we're doing the work from I salute you because we all are lessons for somebody all are lessons In, more innovative, may we be more observative, may we be more expressive in regards to truth, in regards to bringing forth light in dark spaces and speaking the things that need to be spoke to, no longer keeping things in the closet or swept under the rug. Thank you, Wayne, for that confirmation. The Wayne don't want, the, the, the ancestors don't want nothing else swept under the rug or kept in the closet only so it can rear up at a time like Halloween. Yes? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. We're going to give honor to the ancestors in form of the elements that, comp that compose and make up our being that we know as human. We thank the ancestors for giving us the form to come together in shape and form. By bands being held together so we can know ourselves through, through different levels of a structure from atomic to cellular to molecular to flesh as human beings. So I'm gonna catch that some more, but that's okay in time.
you know, these are timeless messages. So whenever your understanding or the understanding is ripening, something that I said will be waiting to be a master, teacher, to the listener. Feel good for no reason at all. Move with love and light, health and holiness, stillness and abundance in all your movements. Sitting still don't mean not doing nothing. Sitting still meaning not having your mind all over the place. So learn how to sit still and watch God move. Peace, family. I love y'all.